welcome everyone i am amit and i hope you all are doing great today in this video we will discuss an android interview question and this video is a part of the series android interview questions and answers the question is why is it recommended to use only the default constructor to create a fragment it is one of the commonly asked questions during the android interview so let's discuss the answer so whenever the android fragment decides to recreate our fragment for example in case of orientation changes android calls the no argument constructor of our fragment the reason behind why can't it call the constructor with argument is that android fragment has no idea what constructor we have created so it can't let's look at the recommended way for creating the new instance of the fragment here is the code here this set arguments method is very important we must notice that we are passing the bundle inside it so when we create the instance for the first time using the new instance method the android framework can extract the bundle and store it so when in case of the orientation changes the android framework recreates the new fragment using the no argument constructor and can attach the bundle to the fragment as it has stored the bundle earlier and later again we can access that data in our on create method by using get arguments like this so it means that when the system restores a fragment it will automatically restore our bundle and we will be able to restore the state of the fragment to the same state the fragment was initialized with so now we know the answer to why is it recommended to use only the default constructor to create a fragment that's it for now please like share comment and subscribe to our channel if you want me to create more videos on some specific questions let me know in the comment section i'll be happy to do it have a great learning ahead see you in the next video